Happy New Year, Soul Food Kitchen. Welcome to be 2021, no more 2020. Yay! Thank you again for joining us this year in our very first episode of the year. We have a special guest. We have our, my sister, Nina Jones, and we have her boyfriend, Marcus, our fiance. <laughs> on this episode of Soul Food Kitchen, it is the next day. And on the next day, we need something to recover these damn hangovers. And so why not recover other than hangover soup? Also, <laughs> also known as what, Laura? There you go, Bora. There you go. Bora, tell us what hangover soup is. Hi. Oh, what time is it? Hi, Happy New Year 2021, finally. Yay. So, one of my good friends once said Korea is a country who does not know how to sleep. Yes, we work hard and play hard. After a long night of a drinking soju, the best way to end the party is to have a 6 a.m. hangover soup. The Gongnam Hejangbo, or Korean dim sum hangover soup, is only one of Korean's various types of hangover soups. The dim sum and the dried pollock fish are the two best ingredients to kill the alcohol in your body. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. Dry. Typically, next day on New Year's, we probably would order pho or go out for pho, but you obviously, pho takes way too long to make. It also, uh, ordering at a restaurant, everybody's eating pho at that time right there. So instead, we're doing the Korean hangover soup, which is, in my opinion, just as good as pho. So what you need is basically your leftover stuff in your refrigerator. Old rice, not a day old, bean sprouts, kimchi, squid. And if you want fresh squid, you can do fresh squid. That's up to you, but uh, this is frozen. The little shrimpy things, jalapenos, little dashi. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Dried fish, green onions, and my sister and her lovely boyfriend are both vegan. So we're going to do the same recipe but vegan style for them. What we're going to do, we're going to prep our uh, bean sprouts. Marcus, Nina, can you just throw them in the water? Sure. Throw a whole thing in there. <laughs> Look at me go. All right, so we're going to let this cook for about a minute. That's it. The longest right there. And we're just quickly going to blanch them. We're going to take them out and throw them inside the other bowl of cold water. Oh, what does that do? Stop the cooking process. Oh. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Oh, Nina, you wanna do this? Yeah. Scoop it in there and pour it inside there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so now that we have our bean sprouts, we're gonna put them off to the side and we're gonna work with everything. We have two different soup bases right now. Here and go to my other recipe, you'll see how I made the soup base. It's just an anchovy broth. Oh, if you click here, you can go see how I made the soup base. It's two different, uh, it's an anchovy broth. I'm sorry, it's an anchovy broth. And this one right here, there's absolutely no difference at all. The only thing I didn't use instead of anchovies and the shiitake mushrooms. So it's the same recipe except with shiitake mushrooms since we have our vegan family. Going back to the recipe. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we are going to prep our, uh, for my side, not your side, because mine's a little different. Actually, no, it's the same thing. We're gonna prep our side for, uh, for our next ingredients. So you guys are gonna drop your mushrooms, your uh, zucchini. And for you people who will love the traditional type stuff right here, I got my dry fish, which I'm dropping in. Just go ahead, dump it in there. And I also have my little baby shrimps. Dump those in there, and don't get scared of the fire. And oh yeah, I need that juicy cool. That's a cool. And my last part is my squid. 
Now this doesn't take very long at all. You don't have right to kill any animals color. for the booty side. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. All right. We're going to wait for this to click up, then we'll go to the next step. One minute, 37 seconds later. Guys, I'm, I know it's all a little side. We're going to take our squid out. We took it out of the water. We're going to chop it up, put it in little pieces, and we're going to save it for later. So it's going to be like, dude, just you little slices. Take it out the broth. Yeah, it's the broth. And I'm the worst cutter in the world, so no one's doing this. Really? Oh, no. It's so not good. It's just so not good. All right, Soul Food Kitchen, now that we're all back and running right now, what we're gonna do, Marcus, throw your MSG in there. Yes, I said MSG, because it's fucking delicious and love it. I like it. He likes it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our soybean, we're gonna put our soybean right on top, just a handful of soybean, just go for it. Make your cabbage, put your cabbage on. Your pot's bigger than ours. Yeah, I know. Just make sure your cabbage cooks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna cook. Here we have our we? kimchi. We're gonna put our kimchi on. Boom, get the juice in there too. We have our squid. We're gonna throw our squid on. Oh yeah, I got a little bit more right there. Green onions, guys. Go ahead and throw your green onions on there. And last step, jalapeno, baby. Jalapeno. I only like a couple. I'm sure <laughs> more. we'll throw more in later. <laughs> Whatever you want, there's more jalapenos to throw there. 20 minutes later. So, as you can see, these bad boys are done. Boro, give me that sexy B roll footage. All right, there you go. There you have it, folks. We have hangover soup made by Trey, Nina, Marcus, and Bora's filming. Please join us on the next episode of Soul Food Kitchen. We're going to do penis fish. Then we also have makgeolli we're making in the future. And we have some other product content we're doing as well. Enjoy this episode. I hope you like it. Remember, alternative to butt is this stuff. It takes half the time. It's only 10 minutes to make. Not even half the time. But it takes like six hours. 10 minutes to make. You can enjoy this instead of going and order it out. Thank you guys. See you in the next episode.